assumption if you're going to have a dwarf cat, it's going to have back problems, and, and that's not true. Um, so, you know, you have to, but you do want to document well, are you, um, it is a mutation that you have to be careful with, because if you get a lot of bowing to the legs, you know, the cats are going to have health problems. Maybe they'll have sco scoliosis. To my knowledge, they don't have those problems, but if you don't have breeders paying attention, you can get those problems quickly. So that, that becomes the issue, is that, you know, so you want to keep that away from, maybe the use of the, the choice, I think there's a lot, I think there's a lot of importance to the choice of the name you use for your breed. And so when you think about munchkins, you think about the Wizard of Oz, um, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe that's just also not the best choice of the name as well. So, you know, those are kind of some of the things you have to think about try to get away from that meat, but I, I know it's too late. But it is a dwarfism. It is a dwarfism. Well, <clears throat> talking about the names, the Napoleon that we have, the name Napoleon actually offends a lot of people from France. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> and we have contemplated not calling them Napoleons right, because right. it does offend a lot of people in the European community. So. Right, right. Yeah, so those are just things you have to be sensitive to. I guess I would personally like the name Napoleon better than Munchkin, but... Oh well, you know, so my choice is cherub. Wait, cherub? Cherub. Little, Little angels? short Little angels, angels with big fat cheeks, okay. always smiling. Yeah, see, you know, there's a, there, you go. there you go. So that's always important. Um, so silver. So this